Hola, I'm Nicole and this is Quick Chomps with Presley's Pantry. Today, I'm celebrating the upcoming holiday Dia de los Muertos with a beautiful Pan de Muerto or Day of the Dead bread. In honor of my departed Theo Bullet Bob, who didn't have much of a sweet tooth, he loved his Pan de Muerte made with Idaho potatoes. And today, that's exactly how I'm making it. Let me show you how. First, add the yeast and water to a mixer. Let the yeast activate in the water for about 10 minutes. Add in some salt and sugar and give it a good mix. Add in your mashed Idaho potatoes. You may have to break them up with a spoon if they are cold from last night's leftovers. Add in butter and your eggs, then slowly mix it till it all comes together. Then add in your flour. The hook will knead the dough together for you in the machine. Generously flour a clean work surface. Then drop your dough on top and knead it for an additional two to three minutes. I love getting my hands in the dough. Shape your dough, then give it a little spanking. Grease a bowl, add your dough to the bowl and flip it around so that it's evenly greased. Cover it and let it rise for two hours. While it rises, grease two baking pans. Next, punch down the dough. Not like this. Like this, punch it down till it's all flat. Then remove it and it's time to knead some more. Divide the dough into three parts. Place two of the parts in both of the cake pans. With the additional part, roll out the dough to make decorative bones for the tops of each of your loaves. Then with a little ball of dough, flatten it and place it right in the center. Brush the top with an egg wash, then place your loaves in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. Happy Dia de los Muertos, everybody. I hope your day is hermosa reflecting on the joyous memories that you once shared with your deceased loved ones.